Black kids been been. Black kids been beautiful. Black kids been brave, and yes, black kids been belligerent, and we ain't apologizing for any of it. You see, we was born into this revolution. We bear its weight on our shoulders. Ain't one of us ask for this struggle, but we adorn it like jelly and gown and crown, and we wear it well. Why? Because we been been. Yes, we been on. Born April 14th, 1998, I had already learned what it meant to be a black person and to be targeted. My uncle, Tyrone Gilliam, Ben Merriam, a black man, a black Muslim man, was on death row for a crime he did not commit. My family, my mother, Zelda, my father, John, fought for nine long years. And nine months pregnant, my mother still refused to sit complacent as her brother's life was on the line. And when I was born, the protest chants meant to abolish the death penalty in the state of Maryland became my lullaby. And yet, still, seven months later, my uncle Tyrone Gilliam was executed—I mean, murdered—by the state of Maryland, just like Freddie Gray, and just like Tyrone West. So. I ain't really have no choice except for to be on, and this isn't just my story. It's the story of us. It's the story of the leftovers of generational destruction. It's the story of Marcus, of Antonio, of Seth, of Donovan, of Drew, of Mecca, of Nisi. Yes, we all been on, and we been targets. We've been hunted. We've been bought, burned, and buried, and we've been sexualized and fetishized. And yes, our lives been mattered. And yes, we been about that life. So no, it should not have been a surprise when we took to the streets to fight for our. Lives once more, 'cause like I said, we been been, and it's not just how our mamas and babas raised us that counts into how we fight for our lives, because our revolution goes deep like history, and just like our history, it has been erased or left to be relegated to the footnotes of a made-up white story. You see, I ain't never just been Martin, I ain't never just been Malcolm. We ain't always just been slaves waiting to be freed, and no, we ain't never just been strange fruit hanging from trees. We were also taught by Queen Nzinga and Queen Tia, and maybe if we had been taught that in public schools, you all wouldn't be taken aback by our pride or how unflinchingly ready I am to fight for Black queer and trans lives. We been about this blackness. And when I say blackness, I don't just mean your heteronormative, cisgendered respectability politics. So when strippers join protests, or when girls twerk to chanting in the streets of my city, we be about that too. But there are definitely a few things that we ain't never been down for. We ain't down for not building. And I'm not talking about building another Eurocentric institution to be smack dab in the middle of my city to continue the process of colonization of our young black minds. No, I'm talking about black nation building, and that's something we ain't heard in a while. And if we have heard it, it's something that we ain't been hearing often enough. So let me remind you all of something called black self determination. I guess I forgot to mention another one of our teachers, a fond teacher that we call Marcus Garvey, who taught us to do nothing more than to own what we give back to our community, be it affirmation or money or education. If it's for our people, it better be black, because the only thing that we have continuously been is black. Because in the midst of our black expression, or our black rage, or our black fluidity, or our black sexuality, or our black gender identity, the only thing that we have been is black. So it don't matter if we at Penn North or Annapolis or at the Baltimore City Public School System fighting against the school-to-prison pipeline. When we fight, it's black. When we chant, it's black. When we pass legislation, it's black. And yes, when we tweet, it's black. Take that hashtag Black Lives Matter for example. That was started by three queer black women. And if that's not black future building, then I absolutely have no idea what is. You see, <laughs> you 
The time for waiting for the next one to be killed is over. The time for being silenced has found its end. The time for complacency is gone. The time for dreaming is over. The time for proving black humanity ain't never been here and we need to stop now. See, to have to turn the TV on every morning and to see another black person defending that another black victim of police brutality was a human is disgusting. You see, to do that is to assume that we did not have our humanity in the first place. It is to say that yes, we are target until proven human. Yes, we are guilty until proven innocent, and yet we still continue with the naive notion that we have to prove our humanity, but no, because I've been black, I've been human. And quite frankly, I am not down for proving that, because we been been, black kids been been. The only question now is can y'all be about that? Yeah.